1 Mary, an unknown saint, speaks to mothers with gracious permission from the Lord Jesus Christ, I speak today to all mothers. You are living in a time when mothers are no longer honored for the important role they play in the protection and development of society. Mothers, you are the cornerstone of the home. The home is the place where a person's soul begins his or her critical formation. The enemy labors relentlessly to persuade mothers that they should leave the home and abandon the development of their children to others. Mothers, another person cannot love your child the way you love your child. Another person, even though he or she may be a good person, is not intimately interested in the emotional and spiritual development of your child. Many of you must work to support your family. Jesus understands that and will help you as will I but you must scrutinize your situation fearlessly and be certain you are leaving your children, so you can earn the money to procure necessities. It will not be acceptable to say you left the rearing of your children to others so you could earn money that was not needed. I tell you this because our Lord wishes families to be together. Jesus, who knows exactly what each soul requires for proper formation, is asking that mothers remain home with their children, whenever possible. I am unknown in your world, yet I am a beloved saint here in heaven. On earth, I cared for my children in my home. There were many occasions when I found the work tedious. I can assure you that I often longed to be working outside of my home, because I had always thought I would work professionally. The days may seem tedious, dear mothers, but when stitched together they make the most beautiful tapestry illustrating the growth of a little soul. I earned a very high place in heaven simply by caring for my husband and children. If you have more than one child, you are teaching Christ-like behavior all day long as you show the children how to behave toward each other. If this beautiful formation occurs in the home, you will send your children out, knowing you have helped the kingdom, to release Christ followers into the troubled world. You may not understand the gravity of your role, but if you meditate on it you will see that if all mothers were to abandon their responsibilities, we would see even greater darkness. Jesus will not allow this, of course. I want to speak to those mothers who have lost children through sickness or tragedy. Dearest mother, whose heart is broken, you will see your child again, and when you do you will see that your child has been joyful and cared for in your brief separation. Do not grieve, if you can help it, but spread joy to those who also grieve. Ask me, and I will help you to do this, because I know it seems an impossible thing. All is well in heaven. Have no fear that your child is not with God. We must all cooperate with heaven during this time, so prayerfully consider what it is Jesus needs from you. Note, please be careful not to confuse Mary, an unknown saint, with Mary, our blessed mother. End of message.